Hi, I'm Tom Ruiz and I'm a math supervisor. Today we're going to discuss how to do probability and statistics problems by using marbles. Um, in order to do this you need to have a couple marbles. I don't have the marbles to show you here so let's just write down what colors we would have. Let's say we have five green marbles, seven yellow, four red, and two blue. This would mean that we have a total of 18 marbles. Knowing the total number of marbles is going to be important to doing these probability problems. Um, so let's look and see what the probability of choosing a green marble would be. Probability of choosing green. You have to know how many green marbles there are, and in this case we have five green marbles. That becomes your numerator, or your top number in your fraction, uh, over the total amount of marbles, which is 18. So the green marbles over the total marbles is 5 over 18. That's the probability of choosing a green one. This number can be changed to a decimal or a percent, depending on what you're being asked to do. Probability of choosing a red or blue marble. You need to find the red and blue marbles, put them together. We have four red, two blue, all together. We have six marbles to choose from out of the total number, which is 18, which can be reduced to one-third, which can be turned into a decimal or a percent, again, depending on what you're being asked to do. Um, another common probability problem with marbles would be probability of not choosing a specific color. Let's say not choosing red. If we don't want to choose red, we need to remove red from the equation. Therefore, we're removing four marbles. That means we only have 14 marbles left out of our 18 to choose from, and that can be turned into a decimal or a percent. I'm Tom Ruiz. You do the math.